Hey, what's up? My name is Ollie, and in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of getting mentors in your early 20s. So, let's say you are a person that is starting at life. You just finished school, you're, you're maybe still in college, you're still somewhere in school, or you've been out in the work life for a few years. So, you kind of know what it is that you want to do with your life, but you have no idea what to do or how to get to that position. The, one of the most common things that people do this is that they're just kind of figuring out, they're just guessing whatever has to be done in order to, to get to that position or what needs to be done. But that actually spends so much time and energy and money just most of the time just running around in circles. So I would say one of the most important things if you're in your 20s and there's so many different things that you could be doing, but most of the time you need to take smart action. You need to take action that is actually well calculated and is moving you in the direction that you want to go. So the first step, even before you look for a mentor, that would be to write down your values and also your ideal life. You have to figure out, like, if you want to figure out where you're going or what steps you have to uh, take, you need to figure out what's the final destination. What is it that I have to, um, like, which direction at all am I going? Because if you don't even know which direction you're going, like, it doesn't matter what steps you're taking because you're going to get there no matter what. Because if you don't, if you don't know what it is that you want, that it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. But on the flip side, if you don't know what it is that you want, sometimes that is actually a great thing. So if you're a little bit younger, you're in your early 20s, something like that, then this is a great time. This is a fantastic time to just be taking time, going around traveling, uh, going to try different hobbies, uh, go to uh, a lot of courses, uh, try different types of dancing, sports extreme sports, whatever it is that you're feeling attracted to at the time, then that could be a cool thing. Like I felt that one of the things that was really, really impactful for me at the time was to um, to just go um, traveling a lot. That was one of the things that really resonated with me and really made it so that I, I was able to figure out which direction is it that I want to go, what works for me, what does not work for me. Because a lot of the time, when you figure out what does not work for you, that's also a huge, huge thing to figure out because it means you have figured out what is it that you don't want to do. And since you don't, since you know that, then that means you're also well on the way to figure out, okay, I don't like that. I don't like this thing. That means maybe I could try something in this direction instead. And that is such a huge, huge thing to find out because so many times, like we only focusing on what is it I want to do, but even just the fact of finding out what it is that you don't want to do, that means you're going to be hugely on the way to figuring out like, holy shit, like, yeah, I could, I could try going in that direction. So, let's say now you have figured out what is it that you want to do and now comes the next point it's like how am i going to get there and this is the point where you're going to hear a lot of opinions so what most people would say is like um like you could could read a book uh, there's a lot of different ways to to find information but what i would really really recommend you to do is to find someone else that is living the kind of life that you want to live because a lot of the time like books books are amazing books are absolutely amazing and they will give you so much knowledge but i feel like the biggest challenge with books is it doesn't make it feel as real un unless you are proactively having the kind of relationship with the book where you're you're kind of imagining yourself to be in the story or in the situation and you're kind of you you're really working with the book you're really in putting yourself like you would be in that scenario because 
it's as soon as you can find something relevant. I mean, that's also a lot of the reasons why people don't really feel that motivated to, to go to school or go to class because they don't see how this could benefit their life. And I think a lot of people can re really resonate with that because most of the time what a lot of students feel is like they're not being taken seriously. Like they're, they're not, whatever they're learning right now is like, when am I ever going to need this? Like they don't see that. But as soon as they have a clear understanding, like, okay, this is what I want to do. And in fact, by, even if this is not my favorite subject, even the fact of just really performing this, I can, I can find a way to, to make that connection because our, the human brain is so, so adeptly designed to, to really think back and forth and just connect the dots. And as soon as we have made that connection, we we are just fired up and you can just find yourself doing things that you thought before was really tiring stuff that um you didn't think was uh, was really going to make that big of a difference but now is is really an an easy thing to do so in terms of finding a mentor when you have really figured out the first part like what is uh, your values, what is your ideal life, and also one of the things you could do um, when you're figuring this out is also write down in like five year segments, like from year zero to five, from uh, five to 10, and 10 to 15, and just write out the different things like what did I like to do in the time, and how how a lot of these things are really just pinpointing like where where it is that, that we want to go and just on this journey of life mastery and how a lot of these things are really pu pushing us in the, the right direction from a from an early age. Because you, you might have no noticed that from a young age that you were able to just just completely just free off any worry about whatever was happening in the future. Like you were just so, so focused on what was happening right here and now and because of that because you were so so focused on it that also meant that you could really indulge yourself so so deeply in whatever you were doing and this is also really really important when you are on the journey of mastery so there's actually a, a really good book that i would recommend reading as well at the same time that you're going through this content and that is the book Mastery by Robert Greene. And the reason why this book is so good is because it talks specifically about how you can find out uh, different things that are connecting connecting you to like your purpose and how like which different steps you can take in order to, to get towards that. And just how you will feel in your body when you are connected to that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's important as well to to realize that you not every single day is going to be perfect. Like even just just realizing that uh, every single day is going to be up. There's going to be ups and downs. And as soon as you've found your mentor, like you don't have to stick to one person at a time. As long as you're not mentor hopping, which means that as soon as you're you've you've get gotten in contact with one mentor or one person that you are really looking up to and is really helping you uh, with whatever goal you've set up for yourself in the moment and since you are at this point like you have access to so so much information today and it's so easy compared to what it used to be before getting in in touch with people so use this to your advantage use this amazing amazing time to be alive even just the fact that you are watching this video right now it means if you're still watching it, it means you are open you are open you are a vessel that is open to receive and you're open to create so in terms of the creating part I find it so so important to not only receive something like you could watch 
hundreds of hours of videos, but unless you're actually out there and creating content and doing things that you find important, it's going to be very difficult to to really get in touch with a mentor. And that's also the things that you have to just f freaking jump in it. And I believe you can do it. So I want to hear what have you been doing? Like, is there any kind of mentor you are working to, to get in contact with at the moment? Like, what, what have you done so far? I would like to hear. Uh, please, so please comment down below. And I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we get some new information. And see you guys soon. Peace out.